What a final round. They charge to the finish line strike. And the win light is on for Bob Tasca. 391.5 on a hole shot. He hits a triple hole shot for the first time in funny car history. 391 beat a 389, beat a 390, and beat a 3904. In one of the best drag races we've seen in recent memory, nine thousandths of a second triple hole shot win for Bob Tasca. Did you take off the speed limit and the ET limit on those guys? I took the rev limiter off Aaron Brooks and Todd Okahara. All weekend long, this race car has been wanting to run. We just wanted to find that consistency to go up and down the racetrack. This last run, we knew we had to step up. I knew I had to step up. You're racing against the best in the world over here. That's a big time matchup. Caps, Hagen, Proc, Tasca. We got the trophy, baby. Partying in Vegas tonight. Yeah. They're all clean off the watch. They're all clean down the racetrack and across the finish line stripe it is Doug Coletta, 371.5. Beats a 374.5, a 374.5, and a 376.9. When Doug Coletta has himself a good race car, the rest of the competition better watch out. That was the case this weekend, Doug. 371, that was a close final round, three thousandths of a second. How much fun are you having driving this car right now? Yeah, I tell you, Alan Johnson and, uh, you know, Mac and all these Mac tools, Toyota, uh, Revline guys, they uh, really got this thing running. You know, each round we were running, you know, quick time. And uh, yeah, just uh, it's great to do in Vegas. And uh, obviously the first four wide, uh, it's pretty special. Congratulations, Doug. Thanks a lot. Foster goes red by a mile. And this one is going to go down to the stripe, and Foster looks at, rather, Tucker looks like he's going to shot at it, and at the finish line stripe, it is Coughlin. 661, 607.18 miles an hour for Jay. Gets the job done. So Jay Coughlin Jr. brings home the Wally at the four wide nationals. Jag, you were the first to leave the starting line. You had the quickest car in that quad. You've got yourself a horse to ride, and that's going to be dangerous to the pro stock contingent. How good does it feel to hold that Wally for the first time in a couple years? It feels fantastic, let me tell you. It, uh, it's been uh, quite a ride without question. Uh, you know, being in the winter circle, uh, nothing beats that. Uh, the team elites, uh, obviously, uh, brought me back in with open arms with uh, Randy and everyone at SCAG and JHG and uh, Jegs and, of course, Outlaw Beer, man. We're going to enjoy a few of those tonight, let me tell you. But uh, this thing was a rocket all weekend. I let the clutch out there in the final. You know, uh, the whole crew chief bank had this thing on kill. And front end was up. I was banging through the gears. And I'm like, God, please hold together because everything felt really good uh, from the time I let the clutch out until I saw that blinking light. And, uh, you know, I love my family. Thank you, guys. We'll see you soon. Amanda's with Jake's teammate, Eric Enders. Meant to kind of bridge the gap between factory stock showdown and pro stock. This is Factory X, presented by Holly. Greg Stanfield, the number one qualifier, number two qualifier. And Alex Laughlin, who took out Greg's kid in the upset of round one. Looking to add a victory in another class to his resume. Does not look like it's going to happen. Alex Laughlin turned the tire early on. And Greg Stanfield motors to a seven. 12 at 192 miles per hour for Greg Stanfield his 17th national event win he was first off the line he goes seven Welding, pumps, regulators, filters, fueling champions. Four for the Wally, and the four wides, and flex jet, factory, stock, showdown. Problems in lanes one and three, they're both out of it. Is it gonna be David Janik or Ricky Horde? Your number one qualifier goes coast to coast, 789. 174 miles per hour to boot. Wow, a statement run for Ricky Hoard. David Janik gets the runner-up spot, 798 at 172 miles per hour. In lanes one and two, two youngsters. In lanes three and four, will we have a first-time winner? Four wide and alcohol funny car? Well, we will if lanes three and four have their way. Remember, the flashing light is the winner. That's the one you want. Two in, three in, four in. 
All four solid runs down to the finish line winner. It's going to be to be Sean Bellamere getting it done. 548 beats 547. Margin of victory, a heartbreaking if you're Madison Gordon. Point zero, zero. And an injected car all the way down the quarter mile. High side and in, RPMs up and in. They're all the way green. Another good four wide race. And the wind light says lane four. Sean Cowie runs 5 200, 279 miles an hour. And that trophy's headed for Canada. It's a 531 for Mike Coughlin, who smashed the gas a little too soon. A 529 for Skinson on the one. They won Pomona day before yesterday. Can they win Las Vegas? in Las Vegas. Well, not if Cody Lane has his way. Both drivers get away on the green. Cody's down there a ways. Here comes Ryan Pretty. Not going to get him. Check it out. The Hancock and Lane team by less than a thou. Point zero, 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 seven. Cody Lane smashed the tree at 011. Kept his foot on the mat. He was not giving that one up. Ryan Pretty goes 1965, 289 Mustang, 220 horse version. Wheels up and away is the Mustang. Here come no Grant's car hangs a right. It goes to the center line. He kept it on his side, but he's got to straighten back out. That's going to put him behind the Mustang. Whoa! And Don Keen breaks out. Oh no! Grant Singer goes 906, 148 miles an hour. He's going to win it. When that thing had wheels up going right, I thought Grant was done. Don had a 004 reaction time. He's blistering down the quarter mile. Got there. The 269 Camaro is ready to bump in while your alcohol funny car champion parades back to the winner circle. Sorensen off on the green. Rizzoli on the chase. The 350, the 396, the 269 Classic coming at you. Kyle Rizzoli closing, closing, closing the deal. 1037, that's a winner. 120 to speed. Sorensen, 1125 at 114. He picked a really bad time to have a bad light. Good start. Throttle stops do their thing. Now turn loose. Unruh out in front. Bill Dennis trying to track him down a little more mile an hour. Watch the wind light down at the scoreboard. 9.08 for the win. Phil Unruh is going to take that trophy back to Kansas. For Phil at his national event, win number seven. Had the advantage on the starting line by a couple of hundreds. Bill Dennis goes 9.07, 185, and he'll have to wait another day to pick up trophy number one on the national event side of things. Congratulations to Phil. That's your winner in Super Cup. And our next champion, under the arch. A lot of you fans might be looking at that, thinking it's a Ford versus Chevy battle, but the Thunderbird got red like Chevy under the hood. I don't I mean, I'm not the one giving away secrets or anything, but I, I don't think it's a secret. Perfectly legal in this class. Put any engine in any car you want. Both drivers get away on a green. Here comes the stripe. Here comes the win line. 10 5 5 Mike did it. His first national event win. Ah, you never forget your first time, especially when it happens in Vegas. 10 5 5 for the win. Had the reaction advantage. Runs dead five for the W. Steve. Been to the final. Hadn't quite closed the deal. We're about to crown a first time national event champion. And both drivers get away on the green. Cody Weber out in front. Here comes Stan trying to track him down. Look at him close in. Ain't going to happen. Dead four for the win. Cody Weber had the reaction time. Held on to the stripe by two thousandths of a second. And then Aaron will be chasing him. The right trailers, top sportsman, final round comes down to this. Both drivers away on the green. Okerman. Trying to hold on. Not going to happen. Aaron Steinke, 665, 195 the speed. 718 for Rich Okerman at 191 miles an hour. And Aaron Steinke, 665.